Morning. In less than three hours, the Veterans Parade kicks off right here in the district. Marching bands, veterans organizations, and floats will all make their way down Constitution Avenue in honor uh, of all of those who serve. That is where our Jacqueline Quinn has been live all morning as they're kind of putting the, the finishing touches on all of this. Uh, good morning to you. What can we expect later today? Good morning. Yeah, so we're standing right next to the parade route here, and yeah, this starts at noon, but uh, they're going to be going right down Constitution here, ending at the White House, and right over here, they're setting up the stage right now, so uh, the bands and whatnot will be passing uh, the stage by, and so, of course, you're going to have uh, floats, again, the bands, and specialty military cars. This year's Grand Marshal is Scotty Hastings, a country music artist, uh, but the National Veterans Parade is held to honor those men and women who fought for our freedoms and this is just the parade's second year. Opening ceremonies began at 11 at the National Archives, again with Scotty Hastings. And I'm going to bring in the executive director of uh, the Parade Foundation. This is Francis Ventura. And uh, tell me a little bit about, uh, you know, doing this again for the second year and how big this has grown. Well, good morning. And yes, it's grown from our first year was last year. And we're now twice as big as we were last year. And this, we hope to make an annual event, a national parade for our veterans. So we're real excited about the day. And tell me about the uh, bands and one of them, Howard Band, right? Actually, the, yeah, the Howard University Band will be here and uh, along with their alumni. And they're going to march behind them. So it should be really, it's a great opportunity for them to have a parade this year and to be part of the community and for people to come out and see you. Great show bands. Now, I was hoping to get the Grand Marshal. He just hasn't uh, arrived yet. But tell me about his concert. It's going to be at 11 at the National Archives, and then he's going to just jump right into the parade? Yes, the opening ceremony started at 11, and shortly after that, Scotty Hastings, and he's doing a live performance with his entire band. And uh, he comes on, and, and he'll perform his songs, and it'll be a great tribute to our veterans. He's an Army uh, Purple Heart veteran, wounded in Afghanistan, and he picked up a guitar, and now he's a Nashville artist that has three hits on the charts. And real quick, okay, so uh, this is only the second year. Where do we need to be to get a good shot? And what preparations do we need to make if we're gonna come out today? Well, at the National Archives, right at the 7th and Constitution, and the parade proceeds all the way up to the White House to 17th Street. So anywhere along there, you can take the Metro. Anywhere along there, the Metro and the 7th Street, uh, then L'Enfant Plaza, all the, and the, it's go online and you'll see all the, the metro stops that are all open. Thank you so much, Francis. Thank and you. please be aware that there are going to be some closures out here as well. And the parade starts at 12, that concert at the National Archives at 11. For now, I'll send it back to you, Marcella. All right, a beautiful way to honor all of those who serve and, and have served. Jacqueline, thank you so much.